Hi, welcome to an NX10 video tutorial. I want to do this multi-body housing exercise now in NX10. I've done this a long time ago without audio commentary and not in HD. So let's have some fun with Siemens NX10. Let's start with our planes. So I go for a datum plane and I need one with a distance to that one, so I will go for at distance and the first one should be 36. Apply. The next one should be 88 and apply. Then another one over here and reverse direction and make it 36 apply and another one again reverse direction make it 88 apply then with a distance from this one and that should be 44 apply and one at 90 apply and one down below distance should be 5 and reverse the direction as well and ok now let's go for a sketch that should be on this plane ok this should be a rectangle so go for a rectangle and I need this sort of and let's add some constraints this should be collinear this should be collinear and these should be collinear as well then I need a dimension and that dimension should be 47 close finish the sketch make a revolve connected curves yes vector should be this one and from 0 to 360 degrees and ok and let's hide this sketch then another sketch on the same plane. Okay. Another rectangle over here. Same procedure. Collinear. Collinear. And collinear. And distance which should be 47 as well. Close, finish the sketch and make a revolve with that sketch and the vector should be this one and again OK and hide this sketch as well. Another sketch, same plane Confirm another rectangle like this and this line should be collinear to that plane and this line to that axis. Collinear and that one to that axis, collinear and a dimension, and this should be 40. Close. 
close the sketch and make a revolve with that sketch and make sure the boolean is none for this one it was none because they are not connected so it always switches to none automatically anyway and this should be the vector no, the vector should be this one. And OK. Hide this sketch as well. So if you change here to this order, you got three bodies. You could rename them if you want, as before. So this would be. left plus this would be center plus and that might be right plus so I got three bodies okay I need another one so I will switch back to timestamp order and maybe that's not a good idea back to this one because I could hide right now this body and the other ones as well so I need a sketch right on that plane confirm and this could look something like this goes up, right, up, right, down, over here and back there. Then add some constraints, collinear, 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 same over here, Colinia and this one to that axis, Colinia and again, Colinia, there should be an angle. This would be 45 degrees. And then I need yeah, again a fillet. And untrim like this. Radius should be 12. Make this for construction only. Okay, and a dimension from that point to this line, which should be 42. That's fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Make an extrude. Connected curves, yes. And the direction would be YC. And it should be symmetric. And it should be 25. And again, Boolean is none. Okay. Let's hide the sketch, which would be located right here now let's mirror this body so go for more and mirror geometry you could mirror feature as well so we'll go for mirror feature in this case the feature is the extrude and the plane is this one. 
OK. So I got, anyway, I got a new body, so I could have mirrored the body as well. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should combine these two. So go for Unite. Take this as target and this as tool. And OK. So that would be the stiffener plus. Let's do the fillets. This one should be 12. Right here and over there. Apply. And then the other one should be 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there should be another one. This one, and they all should be six. And okay. Let's show the other bodies. Very nice. And I need to add at the center right here one sketch. So maybe go back to timestamp order. Make another sketch on that plane right here. Okay. And that would be a rectangle like this. Now, this line, so it's better to hide the bodies. One, two, three. And four and that plane and that line should be collinear this one and that axis should be collinear and that line and this one should be collinear and there should be a distance and that distance should be 28, so go for a rapid dimension, and this would be 28. Close this one, finish the sketch, make a revolve. Boolean is, in this case it's not none, because I want to add it to the center body, so I will go for a unite. So that's sketch that's the vector and I want to add it to the center one to this one and okay now I could hide this sketch that would be this one and let's show all the bodies Okay, now let's do some fillets, apply edge blends. This one is 6, apply, that one is 6, apply, and this one is 6, apply. Now, in NX I cannot have an empty body, so I will unite them all to the center body. So go for Unite. Target should be the center one and add the stiffener, the left and the right. So press Control and add them and OK. So what's missing now? the planes or edge fillets with variable radius. So let's go for it. Go
go for edge blend and select this edge and add some points so this is six and I need one point right here so go for I would need a midpoint intersection point control point end point existing point point on curve edge that's the one so select this and you should go for arc length 50% So this should be 50 or if you change this one to arc length yeah same so it's right in the middle and this one should be 20 and you have to add some more some endpoints which should be six right there this one yes This should be six and you could add this one as well, but I will leave it for this one and there it is six as well and okay. Looks good. Now three times more the same edge blend select that edge so go for end point right here that's six another one over here that's six and we need a point on curve which should be this one select that edge and go for 50 percent Make it 50 and this should be 20 and okay two more another edge blend here go for the endpoints this one that should be six that's okay this one that should be six that's okay and again for a point on curve on this edge and make it again 50 percent and 20 and okay last one edge blend select go for end points so this one and that one then go for point on curve and the curve would be that edge go for 50 percent and make it 20 and okay and i'm done so if you want to see more give it a like down below leave a comment thanks for watching see you to the interior one that's the exterior and i will go for the interior in the next video in the next bye bye